everyone. It's Monday, February the 6th, 2023. I am Doug. It's time for Wordle. Uh, Joseph Kiker uh, says start with steak. And uh, to put the emphasis on that actually has a steak uh, yeah, avatar. So clearly this is a person who loves steak. So uh, far be it for me not to go ahead and try. Uh, there's some steak. And, uh, well, we got a tea out of position. Uh, so I'd put this on the on the range of uh, of uh, a, a TGI Friday steak and a you know uh, five star steak. I'd say it's right in the middle. I'd say it's right in the middle of uh, uh, maybe an Outback Steakhouse steak. <laughs> These are all companies that will never advertise on this program. All right, let's go with another uh, word. Uh, how about uh, hmm. Let's see. What can we do next? What I'm going to go with the word point. So let's move that T around a little bit and get four really good leather, uh, letters otherwise. Uh, well, that point gets us to where we have I, N, and T now. All out of position. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. So would I be thinking about the T or the N potentially being in the front? Not sure. Part of me is almost kind of thinking about maybe just getting a little greedy and doing one more eval word because there's a lot of really cool letters out there I'd like to find out about as to whether or not they're in the puzzle. Uh, all right, let's just do a quick uh, goof around with the letters. If I put the T in the front, and uh, where do I put the I, right? Uh, so if we – oh, here's an idea. I've got a really good idea. We are going to kind of do a sort of eval. If I used the word timid, I would almost certainly get uh, the I location sorted. Uh, check the M and the D. Now, obviously, it's not going to be the answer because we don't have the N in there. But just for some position information. I don't know. I've, I've got this burning desire to try timid. So I generally like to trust my gut, even if it's not uh, the optimal play. So let's go with timid. And okay, so we figured out a few things. There's only one I, uh, and the T is going to be in the third or the fourth spot. Hmm, okay. So that also makes me wonder if there's perhaps uh, another, uh, well, maybe a Y in there as well. Oh, so here's the thing. Okay, so I don't think there's an I and a U separated from each other in the word. But when I look at the Y, you know what that makes me wonder? Work with me here. Let's put a placeholder in. We know the I is here. What if I made the last three letters N-T-Y? Uh, and then, of course, that makes me wonder what would go in the front. It can't be the word minty. Uh, because we tested the M. Well, that felt really good when I, when I said that out loud. But then I looked down at the uh, the other letters, and there's nothing that fits with I-N-T-Y. Ah, oh, I felt so good about that, too. Uh, hmm, linty? I mean, that can't be it, right? It can't be the word linty. But yet, here's the thing. Again, the position information is kind of what calls to me here. Uh, I feel almost compelled to, to – it's not even burning a guess if I'm going to get a good good insight out of it. I talked myself into it. Uh, again, this might be suboptimal, but I just got a feeling. Is, is it linty? No, it's not. But, okay, INT locked in. All right, so I was wrong about the Y. We just need to find the first and the last uh, letters. So um, so then here's the other thing, right? What is that last letter? What would make sense there? Uh, I'm looking at Q, W, R, U. None of that can work. J can't work. I, N, T, H. I, N, T, H. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, but I feel like that's the only thing it can be, I-N-T-H. So what? Oh! Oh, see, here's the thing. Yeah. Well, none of the unused consonants work here. A double N would work here, and that would be the word ninth. 
So I think we have worked our way through this one. A little tricky, a little longer than usual, but uh, I think we've got there. I feel very good about this. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to today's puzzle the word ninth? Yes, it is. All right. Well, there you go, Joseph. Thank you for that. Uh, and thank you for checking us out. Uh, this is an interesting puzzle today. Of course, please leave your favorite starting words in the comments if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Uh, what 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 can I do to help you? <laughs> uh, please, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.